I'm going to solve a numerical problem of related with pressure and I have taken a numerical problem of SNC board of Nepal. Look at the problem. Volume of an icebox is 24,000 centimeter cube and its density is 0.9 gram per cubic centimeter. How much part of it remains above the surface of water when it is kept in water? This is a numerical problem. But before entering into this numerical problem, I want to tell you some fact related with our floating world. Look at this. Let's say this is a liquid in which a body is floating. Now, the whole volume of this solid, which can be written as volume of solid, out of this whole volume of this solid, this much part is immersed in liquid. It means this much part, which is said it, this part can be considered as volume of displaced liquid. Volume of displaced liquid. It means out of whole volume, volume of solid, this much part is immersed, volume of displaced liquid. It means if we take the ratio, I mean to say out of this part, whole volume of solid, this much is the part immersed means B liquid by B solid is considered as can be considered as part of of solid immersed part of solid immersed equal to B liquid by B solid we can consider like this what part of this solid is immersed into the liquid? This is equal to volume of displaced liquid upon volume of solid. And we are getting the answer in ratio. But what part is outside the liquid? This part, which is completely blackened, is outside the liquid. What part is outside the liquid? If this much is the part inside the liquid, then part outside the liquid should be 1 minus B liquid upon V solid. This is the part of solid outside. This way we can consider these two equations to find out part of the solid immersed and part of the solid outside the liquid. Now let's solve the numerical problem. This numerical problem can be solved by using a principle called principle of flotation. According to the principle of flotation, we know that principle of flotation says that weight of floating body is equal to weight of displaced liquid. If a body is floating, its weight must be equal to weight of displaced liquid. I mentioned this. Now, we know that here weight of floating body means is taken as ice. That's why weight of ice is equal to weight of displaced liquid means weight of weight of displaced water in this case now we know that weight is mass into g m into g w equal to m into g that's why weight of ice is equal to mass of ice into g is equal to weight of displaced water means what mass of mass of displaced water into g now, G can be cancelled here. Now, mass of ice can be written as density of ice into volume of ice. In the same way, mass of water can be written as density of water into volume of water. Why am I writing this way? Because we know that density equal to mass by volume. If it is so, then mass is equal to density into volume that's why mass of ice is equal to density into volume and in the same way mass of water can also be written as density of water into density of water as a volume of water that's why I wrote this way now our target is to find out what how much part of the ice remains above the surface of water this it cannot be calculated directly how much part is inside the layer, inside the water? First, we'll calculate that. 
by using V liquid by V solid and then only we can calculate what part lies outside the water. So look at this V liquid by V solid in the same way volume of water upon volume of ice can be designed here D ice is a, D ice upon density of water is if taken to left hand side this is equal to right hand side V water upon V ice now look at this volume of liquid upon volume of solid volume of liquid upon volume of solid that's why I can say that this is equal to what this is equal to part immersed part in part immersed in water that's why I'm taking value d ice is given here 0.9 gram per cubic centimeter that's why I'm writing 0.9 and uh, d water is we know this value density of water is 1 gram per cubic centimeter that's why we can take 1 this is equal to part of ice immersed immersed in water and therefore we can say part of ice immersed is equal to immersed in water is equal to if this point is taken to one digit right inside we can take here zero or you can use calculator directly but we have to express this number in fraction number so if point is taken to one digit right inside we can take one zero that's why this is equal to nine by ten what it mean it means nine by ten part is immersed in water in the same way now we are going to calculate what part is outside the water part of ice part of ice outside the water outside the water this is equal to 1 minus this value 9 by 10 part immersed 1, by, 1 minus 9 by 10 this is equal to 10 10 minus 9 this is equal to 1 by 10 this way we can conclude that 1 by 10 part of this ice block is outside the water. This numerical problem, in this problem, look at this value is given, ice block, volume of ice block is given, but without using the volume of ice block also, we can solve the numerical problem by using principle of rotation. This method of solving numerical problem is applicable for every object if the object is floating we can take this equation for every floating body weight of the floating body equal to weight of displaced liquid and we can start with this and we can solve the numerical problem